Hi, I'm Jacqueline Kalujevic. I'm the pastry chef at Iceberg's Dining Room and Bar in Bondi, and this is my husband, Monty. So I'm usually the big cheese in the kitchen, but today I'm going to be Jackie's assistant. We're here to join Delicious Bake Club, and we're making our famous Jaffingtons. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, and we're going to show you how to make these from scratch and boost that choc orange flavour. So trust us, because we're the... Oh, no, she's the expert. I'm just here to taste test, grab bowls, go to the fridge. Okay, so let's get started. The first step we're going to do is boil some oranges. About two medium-sized oranges should give us just over 300 grams. So our oranges have been simmering away for about an hour now, and now we're just going to let them cool down before we can process them in our food processor. So now that our oranges have been cooked and they're nice and cool, I'll just show you that uh, sometime where the, when the fruit is attached to the tree, you always want to remove this part before you blend them because it will never break down. Is that the blossom bum? The blossom bum. But today we're lucky enough that they have already come off. Just cut them enough to put them into the processor. And Monty is going to process them into a nice, smooth puree. <laughs> So they don't need to be super smooth, but we'll just take our spatula and scrape around the sides to get rid of any chunky bits, and then we might give them another quick pulse. Okay, so now we're ready to make our cake mix. Monty's going to take our orange, fresh orange and a fresh lemon, and zest them into the pre-processed puree. So now we're gonna to get together our dry ingredients. We've got our almond meal, desiccated coconut, caster sugar. For our cocoa powder and our baking powder, we are gonna sieve these in to make sure there's no lumps. And then we wanna combine all our ingredients together. So we can just mix that gently through with our hands. So this is all combined nicely. Now we can break up our eggs. Do you wanna whisk our eggs, Monty? Mm, certainly. We don't wanna get any air in our eggs, so we're just going to loosely break them up, very gently and delicately. Yeah. <laughs> Is my bicep rippling? <laughs> we can add our puree to our egg mix now, and Monty can fold these together nicely as well. There you go, Monty. Do you love folding? So it's interesting there's no gluten-free flour in this there's recipe. No gluten-free flour whatsoever. Which is always good, and I think that is because we're, we're not really trying to recreate lamingtons, not the sponge anyway. The cake, as you'll, tr as you'll see once you try it, is a completely different beast. How's that? Perfect, brilliant. And we can fold our wet mix onto our dry mix. We're just going to fold these two together nice and gently. Now we're ready to pour our mix into our pan. Monty has prepared Please. a pan for us. We can pour our batter straight in and we'll just spread the mix evenly into the pan. And so now Monty is going to put this into our preheated oven at 160 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> Okay, Jack's cake's ready. I've chilled it in the fridge, like you said. How do we know it's ready there? It was just nice and firm to touch and golden throughout. Very good. Monty's going to pull the cake out of the tin and portion it into five by five centimetre squares. So now we're going to make the coating for the Jaffingtons. And we're going to take our coconut cream, water, caster sugar, and our cocoa powder and we're going to bring that up to a boil on a medium heat while we're whisking. Cocoa powder tends to stick, so we want to give that a whisk while it's coming up to the boil. So while you're doing that, I might just pop these in the freezer and they can start to firm up. Thanks, Mont. So now that our coating's nice and smooth, we're going to pour it into the bowl to let it cool down for about 10 minutes. And to coat them, we're just going to take a fork and stick it in the side of the Jaffington, dip that into our sauce, and we just run the cake against the lip of the bowl. We've got some nice flaked coconut here. And I think if we just pop it on, we've got a tray here that's got some coconut on it as well. Wow, it does really look like super smooth and glossy. I, I almost want to just get a bowl of that and ice cream, I think. Mm, that'd be delicious. Mm. <laughs> so now these are ready to go. I like to serve them to the kids after school or take them to a friend's house for a barbecue. They sure do look incredible. I can vouch for these personally, and I like having them on the couch with a cup of tea, personally. <laughs> Alternatively, if you fancy, you can also turn the actual base into a beautiful cake. This one's just got some whipped cream and berries, but you can go nuts. So now you've seen how we create our delicious gluten-free, dairy-free Jaffingtons. 
now it's time for you to bake them, take a pic and share them with the Delicious Bake Club. All the details on the website. We can't wait to see what you bake.